how to create a landing page for free using ConvertKit. So ConvertKit has been our go-to email marketing software for a handful of years now. It's really easy to use, intuitive, and very powerful. They have a great free plan you can use until you have a thousand contacts. You can send unlimited emails to those contacts and create unlimited landing pages and forms. If you'd like to try their creator plan with additional premium features, you can do that for free for 30 days by using our affiliate link down below in the description. At the end of your 30-day trial, if you're not ready to pay for a subscription, you can always downgrade and use the free plan that I just described a second ago. With that said, let's hop on the computer and create our landing page. When you log into ConvertKit, it's going to look something like this. This is our account for greater than enough, our personal finance channel. So to create a landing page, you want to click on grow and from there, click on landing pages and forms then click on create new and landing page. So there's a bunch of templates here. We're gonna use the Archer template, so let's just choose it. If you're not sure, you can always click on preview. Here's an example of a live landing page that I created using this template. We're basically gonna replicate this in today's tutorial. So if we go back to the template, it looks something like this. So we can edit basically everything on the page right now. So I copied everything earlier from what you just saw with the live page. So we can just start to go and replace stuff. So the main heading right here, then I have the subheading, let's copy that, put that there. And then the body text, all right, there. And then for this, I think we want a space here. And then for me, if there's paragraphs like this, I think it should be left aligned like this instead of centered for when you have a couple of sentences like that. So this is the text of it. Then what we want to do is this image back here. Let's go to general styles. Okay, so this is the image in the background right now. This has nothing to do with spreadsheets. So we're going to delete that and we can upload something else. So you can see I already have the image that's saved from the previous one that I created. I could basically go to a folder I have and drag and drop the same screenshot image from the spreadsheet. Or I could just go and choose one like so. Okay, so there is that. The thing is with this image and the white text, it's really hard to read. So a couple of things. One is we can change the transparency. So if you go to zero, you just have a black background. But if we have less transparency than just the white image with the Excel, you can actually see the text much better. Also with this text, it's white right now. What if we use our green? I have the hex code for that right here. And then click here, click here, paste it. Okay, so get our free spreadsheets. Something like that I think is starting to look pretty good. The next things we wanna do is if we click the plus icon here, we can add another field. This field will be first name, so custom field select first name. And then usually you ask for first name and then email address so we can change the order like so. Scrolling down a little bit further, maybe we wanna change this to say, get the spreadsheets. And then again, I think if I just paste, I think I still have our green. There we go. Change the button color as well. That's pretty much what I'd created previously. So landing page, good to go. The next thing we want to do is create a thank you page. So after someone hits submit, where are they going to be taken? And that will be to this thank you page. So I don't know if this would be the company, but it, we could just say greater enough sure it can be that and then thank you for signing up your copy of the are on the way okay so that is the text there and then there's a plus icon we would see this on the landing page as well we could click on that and then so if we want to add another heading a block quote image links so if we wanted to add a link to our home page to our youtube channel there's we could add our instagram feed a video you can add additional things to the thank you page as well but i think this can be really simple for today. So what we would probably wanna do is give, as you create more landing pages, not just have it called Archer landing page. So spreadsheets, tutorial, and then also here. Okay. In addition to the actual text and the image, we can also change the fonts. So right here, you can see the font weight, the letter spacing. If we want this to be bigger, we can do that. And then if we go back to general styles, you're gonna see the font. So I think, the font that we've been using for greater than enough has been Roboto. So let's just use that for the headings as well as the text. You can see that's been updated. Any of the other colors, the page background, form background, et cetera, we can change. 
that's good. Now we have this setting sections that I'm going to walk you through as well. So here you can choose what happens after they subscribe. And so we create a thank you page. So that's where we would want to redirect to the domain name. So you can connect a custom domain for free with ConvertKit's free plan. So we have done that already. So info.greaterthanough.com are the ConvertKit landing pages. And then you need to choose the rest of the URL. So spreadsheets tutorial because this isn't the normal one. Okay, so this right now is gonna be where it would redirect. I'm just gonna save this so that it is for sure there. Let's go back to settings infinite. So the next important part is this incentive email. So send incentive email. So this is a confirmation email. So someone will confirm that they wanna be part of your email list. Also, you can use this to deliver your freebie or lead magnet like I'm gonna show you right now. So there's two things that we wanna edit here. One is the actual email and two is where we're gonna send someone once they click confirm. So edit email content. So maybe we say confirm your email to get spreadsheets. Thank you for signing up to get free spreadsheets. Good to have you, sure, Jeff. And then here, maybe we wanna change this color to what can I paste? There we go, it was still on my clipboard. So that's good, now we just need to tell ConvertKit where to send someone when they click that button, which we're gonna change here. You can either have a file that they download that you could add there. We have a link to this spreadsheet. So if we copy this link, oops, and then paste it here, boom, save. Everything is pretty much good to go, but let me just show you what's left in the settings. So then there's advanced, so change what's shown to return visitors who have already subscribed to this form. You could hide the form, you could let them sign up again. And then SEO analytics, you can add the title. So, you know, spreadsheet, get free spreadsheets, a description of it. You can add an image if someone shares this link on social media, the image would show up. And then Google analytics, Facebook pixel, Pinterest, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of different things you can go and add here if you'd like, and then click on save. If you're good with everything, now we're ready to publish. So the link that I showed you a second ago would work, or this link right here. And to show you, we'll just copy that. That's how easy it is to create a landing page with ConvertKit. If you wanna learn how to use ConvertKit's other features, sending emails, tagging, automated sequences, all of those things, check out our beginner tutorial right here. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.